Okay, mi gente, check this out. So, shout out to all my clients, shout out to all my kid clients. This client in particular always comes to me like first thing in the morning on the weekends. And man, I don't know about y'all, but once in a while, the first cut on a weekend, I'm talking about bright and early. I feel like those are the cuts that I, I tend to struggle with when it comes to focus. When it comes to focus, like I'm still waking up, I still do my thing, but there's something about that first cut. Yo, share it on the comments below if you feel me on this. That first cut, you're you're dragging a little bit, but you're still you're still putting in work. We're not saying that you, the first cut get, is the worst cut. That's not what we're trying to do here, and I hope that if that's your situation, you recognize that and uh, correct it because then nobody's ever gonna be your first cut. Imagine getting the text like, yo, is there anybody before me? And you, you're like, nah, nah, man, you're my first. Can I reschedule? So no, we don't want our clients to think that if you're, if they're our first uh, cut for the day, that we're not gonna do our thing. Just clients, no. When you put in work for hours on end, 10, 12 hour days, you're gonna be a little tired in the morning like anybody else. And you know, you just might be dragging. Not again, not dragging in the bad way. Just drag like the cut is. It could be the simplest cut, but you're just in your mind because you're tired. And that was my confession for the day. J hits finna drop the f days. Okay, so at this point, when it comes to cutting curly hair, and I, wait, hold up, I think I said that already on a video. I struggle the most when it comes to cutting curly hair with shears. I don't even think I did the right thing by getting it wet on this cut. My thing, my objective is to get it as even as possible by any means necessary. We don't sugarcoat anything on the Yo Fonz channel. Yo Fonz is being honest, but Yo Fonz is also telling you that it won't stay like this. Even as I'm telling you right now, I suck at cutting curly hair currently, but not forever, okay? Not forever. In my mind, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross check as many times as possible to make sure that it's as even as possible. And uh, I feel like I'm not alone. My job right now is to let you guys know that if you're going through it right now, just know you're not alone. I'm picking it up. Like I said on the last video, I'm investing into some uh, some courses because I recognize more than ever this year, I need to pick up the game, okay? Okay, so right here, I'm picking up the number three guard. I was asked on my last video, why isn't it that I use my masters or even the Babyliss FX's First of all, I don't use the Babyliss F FXs. I know I don't like how they feel. You know, this is no shade towards the company because I mean, I have the trimmers, I have the skeletons. I just don't like the FXs. I don't like how they feel. But the masters, I do use, I just, I don't know why I don't do like a lot of debulking with them. I, I tend to use the masters more for when I, I'm starting off the half, no guard and fading that section, that, that inch. Uh, I like to do with the with the masters. Uh, I like to shape up beards and froze with the masters mainly because I can hear what I'm doing. Um, but when it comes to like uh, using the one all the way to like a two or a three, I, I'd rather do that with the walls. I I like all that legwork to be done with the walls. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, let me know in the comments below. I'm doing a lot of let me know in the comments below. But you know what I'm talking about. Like I just feel like that little bit of detail. So there you go. The masters are for detail.
All right, boys and girls, let's uh, let's learn from our mistakes here. So I clearly stamped. I went way too close uh, to the skin. I created a line here and uh, I'm flipping my clippers around to try to get rid of that line. I no longer balled out and come back with a shaver right away. Recently, I started doing it and I liked the result much better of coming with a shaver last. So you balled out with whatever it may be. So if you have uh, detachable clippers, if you balled out with the five aught and then um, start with the clippers, you know, no guard all the way open to close and uh, then, you know, so on and so forth with the system. After doing that, that's when I come back with the shaver. I feel more comfortable. I feel like I don't, I don't have to go back and forth to get rid of a line when I do it like that right now. So uh, I feel like I might have to add that and create just a, ste a steady system when it comes to when I use the shaver. Quick tip. Okay, so after uh, fading, like a very light, light fade in the back, I'm coming with the trimmers and I'm creating the shape that was desired for the back, which is more of a round shape. And I'm doing it, even though I'm not completely done with the cut, uh, because I wanna know where I stand with the cut. Where do I need to work on the blend? Where do I need to uh, lighten up certain areas? Um, and, and framing your cut helps you see where where you need to go back in detail. So keep that in mind. Uh, and I'm coming back now with a, uh, a comb that, who was it that got me this comb? It was Dre. Dre went to a show. I forgot which uh, state it was in, but he came back, shout out to Dre. I like the comb. I don't think it did too much for me on this haircut, but it does come in clutch uh, for debulking. Uh, I'm just over here, just, dragging it out. So, uh, Fonz, get it together, please, sir. What are you doing? Look, clearly there's a lot to work on still. Sir, let, yep, put the comb down. Let's get the brush. Let's get back to work, Fonz. Let's get back to work. Damn. <laughs> All right. I don't know why I clap so much. All right, so right now, right here, what we're doing is we are cutting down those baby hairs uh, to the point where there's no curl. You don't want no curl around that that edge line. You don't want that edge line to move. So we're gonna we're gonna bring it down. We're gonna we're gonna bring it down low, okay? And once we bring it down low, everything's gonna be able to be crisp. Now I will say though, I will say this that I no longer spray right before I edge up. For most clients, I'm trying to actually just clean the skin, but you know, that's a whole nother topic. I feel sometimes like spray can be uh, a bit of a, a, a hassle. If you put too much or if it's too strong, uh, I feel like it doesn't always even cut it. So spritz I know is another option. I don't even like none. I, honestly, you use spray, like hairspray or spritz on somebody, you don't cover their forehead. Now their forehead feels weird when they shrug it. Um, and so it's uncomfortable. It's more about you than them at that point. Like I want to, I want to focus on experience, uh, for what's to come for me in my, in my, my career in this game. So, um, uh, I don't know. I just feel like it could be, it could be uncomfortable for them. You know, you spray them with all that, just to get a crispy cut, a crispy lineup. I mean. Okay, so I'm grabbing the the two. I'm getting some of this 245 gel. I have it on the uh, on the clipper stand upside down, so everything always 
it's ready to go. I don't have to like shake it around or anything. And uh, it's so crazy to me how like gentle I get applying this stuff on somebody's forehead. Like, like I'm afraid that I'm gonna mess the edge line up when I can clearly just comb it down fonts. Fonts, don't be so afraid, bro. Don't get in your head. I, I could tell that I was in my head at this part. Like, oh man, you gotta be so gentle. You don't wanna mess anything up. Like I get, like, yeah, you do, but don't be afraid. Like, it's just hair. Like you're gonna, you can, if you move it, just comb it. That's why you gotta have that comb with you. I don't even have that. Ah, see, viste, viste. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. Where's the comb fonts? Where's the comb? See, you need that person that, that slaps you. you if that was a, a, a service, I would buy it. Like a person that slaps you, like in the back of the head or something. Like, yo, you know you should have a freaking comb. Where's the comb fonts? J hits finna drop a f days. So we're getting close to the end and before you get to the end you want to double check everything you want to use the mirrors I use the mirrors a few times because I don't really show myself checking the mirror But make sure you check your mirrors all right And you want to come back in detail as much as possible because if not you are going to miss out Okay, so anyways, that's that and here's this